You were so slow that it's still going. I've, I've seen unexplosive people and he is an unexplosive person. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Krenich? No. Wood's checked out. So we've been here for about 90 minutes. He's done. He's cooked. We're still going. We're doing 10 meter sprint now. We've got about half a dozen different tests now. So fatigue accumulates. It doesn't discriminate, right? So now our nervous system is getting a little cooked. But we're going to keep going. Make no excuses, right? Even though that might just have been an excuse. But no excuses. The point is Jared, Jared K, a good 10 is one, what do you say, one six, one seven? Yeah, five. Okay. Okay. So I want to start low to keep a deep, steep angle. That's what I'm trying to do. Put the hearts off. Ooh. One six. Can you move a lot? One seven for the lead. One seven for the lead. I'm going to go in here. Look, I'm going to go in here at one seven. Trini. That was better. Oh, I was going to say better. Punch! Nice, nice. Oh, oh. With Wood, you got, you got about 90 minutes with him. Two hours. <laughs> and he's done. That's yeah. all he can do. Had, had he's, he's, he's got a short lifespan. I'm not paying him for that. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Us, young bucks, we've got energy. One more hour to exactly go. Go! That's it? It's a man? One nine five eight. Uh, <laughs> is it it? It's slow, we get fatigued. Form's breaking down, something's happening. One nine eight four. To review, our uh, breath's packing up. To review, we did a 5 10 5. I won that on the left and I won that on the right. Um, Wood's gonna say, Christian Woodford's gonna say he won that as well, but uh, don't worry about him. All right, 10 meter sprint, 1.86, Brett 1.94. Counter movement jump, me 57.2, no, no, 57.37 was the best one. Cranage 48.9, best one. Aesthetic jump. Brett, 48.5, me, 54.4. So we cut it, stretch, short, short and cycle. Usually, we don't have that eccentric, when, you, when you're not, when we jump, it's an eccentric contraction and a concentric contraction. When you cut an eccentric contraction, often you can't jump as high. So that's why those numbers are usually smaller. And we did RSI. And those numbers, most people don't understand. I'm still trying to understand them, but, um, Brett actually got that, which is surprising. I don't exactly know what it means either, but I'll yeah. take it because I'm, be I'm the best out of the year. That's okay. I'm the hundred in You can have the unknown test that no one's ever done in this building, okay? <laughs> Bro and then we had two broad jumps, but because we've been here for nearly two hours, which uh, let's, be let's talk about, this is not optimal. This is far from optimal. Everyone got involved. We got, it's just supposed to be me and Brett, Christian coaching. Everyone got involved. Everyone loved, loves the atmosphere when people are testing. So we had Jared in, we had Christian in it, we had Jay in it. So we had five people sometimes testing at once. This thing stuff took a lot longer than it should have. To one o'clock, we've been here. We got here at 11. So we got, okay, we've been here for nearly two hours, including warm ups. Um, so just for the sake of being efficient, for the sake of these tests aren't going to be as valid because we're so fatigued from all this stuff. So we're going to do them at a later date, raw jumps. All in all, now we've got a baseline, and now we're gonna, we'll test periodically every quarter or every half year, and then we track our progress. What gets measured gets managed. You need to track every single number, every single rep, every single set, know the tempo. I mean, that's what I've been doing ever since I started coaching. That's what pretty much every single coach here does, and um, that's the way you can manage and track and improve. And uh, yeah, we got the one rep, max, one rep max testing on Thursday. Oh, gee. We got squat. We got, we got a deadlift, we got a squat and a bench, is that right? I think so. When I was at the Australian College of Basketball, we, we separated them because they're such... So, probably it'd be smartest to actually separate them on different days because they're such taxing lifts. So, yeah. Do you have any last words, Cronich? Look, I think out of all the tests we did, RSI was probably the greatest correlated athletic performance. <laughs> I would say. I don't, I, just looking at the data, I think RSI was a test that was done the best. Is that right? Yeah, I, I reckon that's the best test we did. And that's just completely true. You can have that one. I'll be, ta I'll, I'll be taking it. You have it. RSI, yeah. So, that's my new favourite predictor of athletic performance. Stay tuned.
uh, um, Rep Max testing is coming next.